my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, one of the things that I've seen floating around YouTube uh, for a while now actually is the furry friend tag and a lot of you comment about my cats so I figured I would do the furry friend tag about them. Now the one thing <laughs> is I can't really get my cats to sit still for one moment especially in my lap. They like they like it if they do it on their own accord, but if you like sit down with them, they just jump off and go and do their thing. So unfortunately, they're not gonna be like sitting here with me. Okay, first question is, what is your pet's name? I have two cats. One of them is a red point and his name is Mercutio. And then the other one is a tuxedo and he is Tybalt. Yes, they are named after Shakespeare characters because I like Shakespeare. Number two, what kind of pet is it and what breed? So both of them are cats and they are actually both Siberian forest cats. The reason they are Siberian forest cats is because my husband is allergic to most cats and this type of breed has, generally speaking, a low to no amount of a certain protein in their saliva. I think it's called Feldy One. And because they have a little to none of that, it was a breed that we were able to find really close to us and we were able to get them and have them join our family. However, there are so many beautiful cats you can buy that are also not Siberian forest cats that are hypoallergenic. Our cats do have a little bit of that protein, so my husband has to take his everyday allergy meds, which he has to take every day anyways. So because of all of that, we thought we would go for these guys for our first animals that we've ever owned as a couple. However, there are like so many other animals I would love to just have as my besties. But back to the kitties. Number three, how long have you had your pet friend? So they're actually brothers, so we got them at the exact same time, and we've had them roughly over a year now, actually. We've had them for over a year now, which has been wonderful. They've been such a great addition to our lives. They are so funny and quirky and noisy little cats, but it's great. Number four, how old is your pet? So both of our cats are a little bit over one year old, so they're still fairly young which is great because hopefully we'll have them in our lives for a very, very long time. Number five, what is your favorite memory with your pet? Oh, that's a great question. So for Tybalt, when we first got them, Tybalt was extremely shy, but like such a loving cat and he just loves to be pet, especially a belly rub. He just like absolutely loves it. And if you're sitting in just the right type of way that he can curl up in your legs, he will. So when he was really little, I was actually getting ready for a theater audition and I was sitting down and I was putting on my socks and I was about to put on my shoes and he just walks up and just like lays in my lap and I was like, I'm not moving from this spot ever again. <laughs> it was like the first time he actually like willingly laid in my lap without me like trying to be like, hey, let's sit down together. Like he actually just came up and was like, pet me, I'm cute. So I think that's my favorite moment with him. But of course there are like so many things that I love about Tibble, but I think that's my absolute favorite memory. My favorite memory of Mercutio is actually we were taking them for a walk because random fact, our cats love to be walked. Like they get really antsy if we do not take them outside for a walk, it's weird. So we were taking them for a walk and it was last, I don't know, probably February or something. So there's still a lot of snow on the ground. It was a little bit slushy, but they were like getting super antsy and we're like, okay, the weather's not that bad today. It's not so cold. We can take them for a walk. It'll be a small one, but we can take them for a walk and then they'll settle down a little bit. And so we took them out and Mercutio just would not go back inside. Now we hadn't taken them for a walk in like a really long time because the weather had been so bad that it was like negative degrees and we're like, we're not taking our cats outside. We just can't. And so this was like the first day where it was like, I don't know, maybe in the 40s or something. Some temperature that like wasn't bad for us and so we knew it wasn't too bad for the cats as well because they can actually withstand colder weather than we can. And so we took them outside and we were both very cautious. We're like, as soon as they show signs of being cold, we're gonna bring them back in. We're gonna keep an eye on their paws because we know since they're stepping in snow, that's gonna be the part that gets the coldest the fastest. And so we're walking and Mercutio would like not go inside. Like we could not get him to go back. And usually he's pretty good where if you do like a gentle little tug on his leash, he'll like follow you. He's like pretty well-trained when it comes to the leash. And so he was like not having it. So I was like, okay. He's been cooped up for so long, like, and he's not showing any signs of being extremely cold. We're gonna keep walking. You and Tybalt can go back inside, my husband and Tybalt. And so me and Mercutio are walking around for a little bit, and all of a sudden, just at a switch, he, like, stops, sits, looks up at me, and meows, and then, like, kind of, like, gets on his, like, hind legs. Like, he wants me to pick him up, which he has never done before. He still hasn't done that. Like, that's the only time he's ever done it. 
But all of a sudden, I think he just realized how cold he was and he's like, oh, I can't be outside anymore. So he like just got up and was like wanting me to pick him up and it was the cutest thing ever. And I was like, oh, buddy. So I picked him up. So I picked him up and he just like curls on up, like just sets his little head right here and is purring away. And so I like walk us inside and we check him to make sure like he's totally fine. You know, his feet are fine and everything. We rub off the snow. Um, and it was just the cutest moment I think I've ever had with Mercutio. It was just so adorable. And it was like the only time where he's ever like legit, like got up, like he wanted me to pick him up. And it was so cute. Number six, what are some quirky things about your pet's personalities? Our cats are polar opposites. It's actually really, really weird. Tibble, all he cares about is food. He's a little chubby. We're trying to get him to like not eat as much food, but he also might need to go on a diet, like diet food, because we've like brought him down the amount that our vet said we should, and he's still not losing the weight. So we, we're gonna talk to them about it, but he loves food. He loves food. As soon as you start walking upstairs, cause that's where we feed them, he like just, bolts up the stairs. He's like, it's food time, even though it's like, I just fed you 10 minutes ago. He absolutely loves food. He absolutely loves cuddles. He's getting a little bit better with strange people, but for the most part, he's a lot shyer. It takes him a little bit more coaxing to get used to newer people. And also if he like sees something new and then all of a sudden a really loud noise happens, he just freaks out. So he's definitely a more tentative cat but he is such a love bug. He just loves to eat and be pet and sleep. And he's not very noisy. He only meows when he wants food or if he really wants you to like pick him up or to pet him or to lay in your lap. So like he only meows when you want something. Mercutio is so different. He is so talkative. He meows all the time. <laughs> like it is crazy. And like it's, like, it's cute uh, because we'll just like meow at each other. Yes, I'm that weirdo, but it's adorable. I absolutely love it. But he meows all the time because he just wants our attention all the time. He's an extremely social cat. Like you have to spend time with him. Otherwise he actually gets like kind of depressed. It's really, really sad. So like he's our needs extreme attention and playtime cat. He loves meeting new people. He loves meeting new animals. Like he is just so curious about everything. It is insane. So we have a very outgoing cat and a very like shy reserved will be your best friend, but like gotta get to know you a little bit cat so they're both like it's so funny they're like such polar opposites and yet they're brothers it's like the weirdest thing also one thing that Tibble does is that he'll he'll just find a corner and he'll start meowing at it like there's there's nothing there there's not like a bug or anything like that that he would be meowing at like he just meows at corners that's the only other time he meows it's really weird it's just like what why um at our old place near the fridge there was like a little gap where they could like squeeze in there and eventually we like filled it up with stuff so they would stop doing that but they would like squeeze their way in there and they could get out and then Tibble would just sit there and meow at this corner for a good 10 minutes and then he would get himself out and just go on throughout his day. Like, I don't know, it was so weird. Like he just meows at corners. It's like the strangest thing. He's found a few places to meow at corners at our new place. So it's still kind of funny cause we'll, he'll do it occasionally. It's really cute. Number seven, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? We picked them to come and live with us. And so like, for me, it's like their family. It's my responsibility to take care of them, to make sure their needs are being met, to make sure they're not getting in trouble. They're like little children, basically. They're also my little like cuddle buds. Mercutio will cuddle with you. It's just very rare. So I treasure those moments. <laughs> Number eight, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? With Tibbled, I like to watch TV shows and then uh, uh, sit so that he'll come and like curl up in my lap and I'll just sit there petting him and he'll just be purring away for like the whole entire time. My favorite thing to do with Mercutio is actually to take, we have some like different types of balls. We have like a bouncy ball, a tennis ball, a stress ball, like a bunch of different types of balls. And we just throw them from the kitchen to the living room like all the time and he just runs for it. Like he doesn't even like grab them or anything. He just like runs after them. And as soon as you come over and like grab the ball, like you're gonna throw it into, let's say you grabbed it in the living room, you're gonna throw it in the kitchen. He just bolts. Like he doesn't even wait for you to throw it. He just goes after it. Oh, another random thing that I also really enjoy to do with Mercutio is sometimes he'll go for like a little mini run. It is so cute. I have not been able to get it on camera and it makes me so upset because he'll do it once. And the weird thing about Mercutio is he just knows you have taken out your camera to record him and then he stops doing it. It happens every single time. He'll be doing something so cute, like 
the way he's laying, the way he's sitting, the way he's meowing, the way he like all of a sudden will start running and I'll explain it shortly how he does it. And then you'll take the camera out and he'll just be like, oh, you want me to do that? Well, I'm not gonna do it now. So it is just so funny because whenever I wanna get something cute, he just stops doing it. <laughs> and so sometimes I'll like start to like run in place and be like, Mercutio, you wanna go for a run? And he'll just start running with me. It's like the coolest thing ever. And the last question is, what are nicknames you call your pet? So Mercutio will call Murky, Merk Merk, Merkles. My sister has a strange nickname for him, but I can't remember it right now. It's because he chit chats so much. Chatty Kathy, that's what she calls him. I also call both of them Meow Meows. And then Tybalt, I call it Tibby, Tib Tibs, Chib Chibs recently, which, okay, he's actually responding to Chib Chibs out of all of them, which is weird uh, because it, that's only a recent thing, but he like really likes it. So I, yeah, I call him that. So that is everything. If you have any questions about my little kitty cats, you can definitely leave them in the comments below. I would love to answer all the questions. Hopefully you guys liked the random footage that I put throughout all of here. I do try to get them in my videos whenever I can. However, it's not always possible, but I definitely will still keep trying to do that because I know you guys really, really like seeing them. If you have any little furry family members, definitely feel free to do this tag. I would love to learn more about them and just like see their quirks and the weird things that they do too. However, other than that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.